I've purchased every skin in Brawl Stars, including a few that I think are a complete waste of gems, so that I could then analyze every aspect of them and show you guys which I think have the lowest value. I think some of them may actually surprise you. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time and it is time to brawl. Now I recently took a look at every single one of the 30 skins that are in the game and analyzed literally every single detail. I then gave skins a gem value based off of their characteristics and then compared them to what they actually cost in gems without any discounts. I then released a video with the 15 most valued skins when comparing them to their actual cost. And today we're gonna go over the 15 worst valued skins in the game. These are the types of skins that you should only buy if you really like it and you think that it's worth it or if it goes on a discounted sale and it actually then becomes worth it or if you just have enough money that uh, it doesn't really matter and you can justify it but before we actually start the video i want you to go ahead and drop a comment in the section below letting me know which three skins that you think provide the lowest value when compared to the actual gem cost and at the end of the video we'll see if you're right starting off we have a two-way tie for the 14th worst value we got touchdown bowl where he gets 20 gems for his football gun 20 for his helmet five for his jersey five for his jersey also on the back because of the hard line patterns which is very visible in game five for his shoulder and elbow pads five for wearing shorts and athletic shoes he does not have any additional attack or super changes now for touchdown bull that comes up to a total of 65 points but one thing i wanted to remind you of is that every single skin in the game gets a base of 10 gems because of the fact that they're actually a new skin and they do have some recolor work and stuff done to them so that brings it up to 75 points which is five gems less than the 80 that it costs to purchase also tied for 14th is caveman frank where he gets 20 for his bone hammer 20 for his new hair and caveman headphones five for his snake necklace five for his new shirt also five for the mullet on his back five for the fur on his arms no animation changes to his attack or super and that comes up to also 75 points where he costs 82 buy that is a negative five gem value we also have a two-way tie for the 12th worst value starting with dragon knight jesse who gets 20 for her expo gun 20 for her helmet and i gave her a bonus five for the feather proof on top uh, five for her suit of armor five for her adventurer's backpack five for her armored gloves five for her striped poofy pants an additional five points for the animation that only the owner actually gets to see upon the character selection screen she has no additional attack changes but i may actually giving her 50 additional points for her super 25 for the fact that it's actually a dragon turret and another 25 for the flames that it shoots out when it attacks that comes up to 140 gems in total and because it costs 150 to purchase her that is a negative 10 gem value also tied for 12th place we have boombox brock who gets 20 for his boom box rocket launcher 20 for his new cool hat five for showing his eyes five for his necklace five for his shirt five for his sweats and sneakers he does not have any additional animation or attack changes and that comes up to 70 gems in in total which is 10 less than the 80 gems that it cost to purchase him next we have another two-way tie for 10th place this time starting with spicy mike he gets 20 for his chili attack peppers 20 for his chef's hat five for his more well-kept beard five for the red ribbon around his neck five for his chef's suit i almost thought about taking away some points because of the the dirty stain on his jacket i mean come on spicy mike keep, keep your kitchen clean man you're a chef he also gets 10 gems for the stew pot on his back, 5 for his sleeves, which are different than his regular skin. In-game, he gets 25 gems for the chilies that he throws out when he attacks, and an additional 25 for the pot of stew that he throws when he attacks his, with his super. That brings up his total cost to 130 gems, and where he costs 150 to buy, that is a negative 20 gem value. Now, this next one might surprise you. In 10th uh, place... We have No Hat Mortis. Because the original skin had a hat, guys. No Hat Mortis is basically exactly like the original Mortis, except for they took away his hat. Normally, headgear, I would uh, give them 20 points for for that uh, that headgear because that's like an important part of the, the feature. Um, and because it costs zero to buy, that's a negative 20 gem in value. Honestly, if you ask me, I just think that No Hat Mortis should be removed from the game. We actually have a four-way tie for sixth worst value starting off with red nose nita she gets 20 for her reindeer hat i gave her a bonus five points because she has a hat on her hat i also gave her five points for her scarf five for her winter jacket which includes a really cool fuzzy hood hat let's see reindeer hat winter hat the jacket hood hat Reindeer Nita has three hats, because four hats would just be too much. She gets five points for her arms and gloves, five for her snow boots. She doesn't have any additional attack animation changes, but she does get an additional 25 points for the fact that she throws out a rain bear. That, that's a, a reindeer bear. 
by the way. Now total that comes up to 80 gems, but she actually gets an additional 50% because she is an exclusive skin to the Brawl of Days event. And that brings up her cost to 120 points in total and where she costs 150 to buy, that is actually a negative 30 gem value. El Rey Primo is also tied for sixth worst value. He gets 20 gems for the crown on his head, 10 for the cape on his back, and I gave him an additional five for the cape coming around uh, his neck and chest, kind of acting like a necklace. I gave him five for the gem on his belt. He does not have any additional attack or super animation changes that is 50 gems in total and because he costs 80 to purchase that is a negative 30 gem value also tied for six worst value is loaded Rico now if you pay attention to his gun it's actually just a recolor from his regular gun but I will give five points for the gems that are actually in the gun those are not just recolored you can tell if they're a different shape I gave him 20 for the crown on his head five for the gems in the body that you can actually see 10 for the cape on his back 10 for him actually having a chrome reflect reflective surface that it makes him look really nice and fancy in game he gets an additional 25 gems for his attack changing from uh, bouncy balls to gems and i gave him an additional five points for the fact that the gems actually glow and are glowy gems when you have his star power after bouncing off a wall i also gave him 25 for his super changing to gems as well as well as an additional five points for the glowing gems if you have his star power when he's attacking with it. In total, this comes up to 120 gems in cost, and because he costs 150, that is a negative 30 gem value. I think out of all of the skins that I'm talking about in today's video, this is the one skin that I actually disagree with the actual ranking. I looked for every reason to give him additional points, but I couldn't find them. But that being said, I think the fact that he just like has, he's like, he's got gems in him and he fires gems, it gets, adds like an extra factor that I couldn't justify with points, but he's really cool. I really like the skin a lot. Another tie for sixth place, we have Phoenix Crow, one of the worst valued skins in the game, okay? Now he does have a lot of benefits to him. For example, he has 20 for his new hair, five for the feathers that stick out of the back of his head, five for his new jacket, five for the tail feathers on his back, five for his feathered arms, five for his belt, 20 for his animation that he flies down and punches up, and an additional 20 for having a different pose than regular Crow. I also gave him an additional 20 points for the animated um, eyebrows that move. He actually gets 50 50 points in total for his attack. He gets 25 for the blinking attack animation that follows his dagger. Then he also gets 25 for the fact that he lights enemies on fire rather than sets them on poison, uh, which is very different. That's really cool. And then he gets 100 points worth just for his super. 25 for the fact that he changes his shape. 20 for the blinking following the feathers. Uh, 20 for the particle effects that follow Crow while he's in the air. And then also 20 for the explosion of light that happens when he lands. If you add all of that, including the base 10 that he gets, that is 270 gems in total, which is really close to 300, but it's actually not quite there. It is a negative 30 gem value. This is certainly one of the most exclusive skins in the game and is by far the coolest in my opinion, but for 300 gems, I don't think that he's worth it. That being said, when he does go on sale, I believe that it's 210 gems, which is absolutely worth it. Okay, guys. Now, I told you earlier to put a comment in the section below letting me know the three worst valued skins in the game. And surprisingly enough, there is a three-way tie for third to worst value in the game. So I'm going to give you guys the uh, internet cookie points if you guess the worst and the second worst and one of the three third worst valued skins in the game. Starting off the three-way tie for third worst is Serenade Poco. Now, Serenade Poco gets 20 for his harp guitar. He gets 10 for the changes on his face, including five for his rose, and then five for the fact that he has facial hair and uh, he gets a heart-shaped nose. He gets five for his fancy shirt, five for his belt, which actually has a heart-shaped buckle on it, five for his fancy shoes, which are slightly different than the originals. In-game, he gets 25 points for having an attack recolor change, as well as an additional five points for the petals that follow behind it. And he gets 25 points for his super change, including an additional five bonus points for the hearts that follow it, which are actually just replacing flowers from the original skin. That comes up to 115 gems in total, and he costs 150 to buy, which is a negative 35 gem value. Also in third to worst value is Beach Brock. He gets 20 for his shark it launcher. That's a rocket launcher that looks like a shark. He gets five for the towel on his shoulder, five for his swimsuits, five for his swim shorts and sandals. He doesn't have any additional attack or super animation changes, and that is 45 gems in total and where he cost 80 to buy, 
that is a negative 35 gem value. If I'm being completely honest, I actually think that the Beach Brock skin should only be worth 30 gems, or they should actually change his attack animation in some way. Also tied for third worst value skin is Rockabilly Mortis. He gets 20 for his giant new comb, and I gave him an additional five gems for the dice that are on the end of the comb, because I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, 20 for his new hairdo, five for his sideburns, five for his leather jacket, five for his new sleeve and gloves, five for his belt, five for his bell-bottom pants, and 20 for the fact that he has a different animation. He also gets an additional 20 gems for the fact that he poses different than regular Mortis. Total that comes up to 115 gems to purchase, and he costs 150 to buy, which is a negative 35 gem value. Okay, we are down to the second worst valued skin in the game, and honestly, out of all of the skins, I think this is the most pointless to spend any gems on. White Crow. For White Crow, literally the only difference between him and regular Crow is the fact that his feathers are white and he's got a red jacket. But other than color, he is the exact same as regular Crow. He doesn't have any attack animations or super animations added to him. And because of that, the only gems that I'm accrediting him are for his recolor, which is the base 10 gems that every skin gets for just being a skin and for having different colors. Because he costs 80 gems, that is a negative 70 gem value. Personally, I think the White Crow needs a buff, even more than regular Crow. We have covered 29 skins in this video and the last video in order to give you guys the worst valued skin in the game. And here it is. Royal Agent Colt, who has 20 for the headband and the hairdo on his head. He gets an additional 10 gems for the hat on his back, five for his beaded necklace, five for his robed top, five for his sleeves, five for his sash belt. I gave him an additional five bonus gems for the coin attached to his belt, five for his comfy shoes and pants. He does not have any attack or super animation changes at all. And that comes up to a total of 75 five gems, but because he was a Lunar New Year exclusive skin, he gets an additional 50%, which brings up his total to 105 gems, which is a negative 75 gem value because it costs 150 gems to purchase this skin. Once again, I think that Royal Agent Colt needs a buff too. One thing that's very important to know about today's video is the fact that the cost for each of these negative value skins would actually be offset by a discount on these skins, which would make them actually worth purchasing, if not like really close to being worth purchasing, with the exception of White Crow and Royal Agent Colt. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It actually took me a very long time to come up and refine this system, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, guys, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.